Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP scripts. And in this video, we will cover how to copy a script from one client to another client. From the starting of the topic itself, we are discussing scripts are client dependent, where smart forms are client independent. Suppose simple example, I have two clients, 100 client and 200 client. In 100 client, there is no data. You will only develop the objects. In 200 client, you have the data. Suppose if you developed a smart form in 100 client, if you want to do the testing, it is automatically available in client 200 because as the data is in client 200, you can do the testing because smart forms are client independent. So smart form which we developed in client 100, it is automatically available in client 200 and we can do the testing. Suppose now we developed a script in client 100 and we want to do the testing of the script in client 200. I cannot do the testing because scripts are client dependent. So whatever the script I developed in client 100, it will not available in client 200. In that case, I need to do the client copy using the transaction code SCC1. When I started the topic, I told you, yes, scripts are client dependent and smart forms are client independent. Now I have the another client available. So now I will show you how, how you can copy a script of one client into another client. So for the best understanding, I will firstly show you smart form, how the smart forms are client independent. There is no need for copy or anything. Smart form which are available in one client, it will be automatically available in the another copy client. Suppose if I will go to 100 client. This is our client number 100. And this is our client number 200. Suppose I will create a smart form in client 100. I will give some name to the smart form. Okay, I will log in again. So I'm logging into client 100. I will go to smart forms transaction code. Suppose I'm developing a sample smart form. I will give any name just to show you. I will go for create. I'm developing in client 100. I will not do anything. Just I will activate the smart form. I will save into the package. And suppose I will save into the transport request. Suppose I will choose this transport request. Now I developed this particular smart form in client 100. Now if I will go to client 200. I will just go to client 200. So this is my client 200. Now, if I will go to smart forms transaction code, you can see the same to same smart form is automatically available here because smart forms are client independent. If we have copy clients, 
if you develop a smart form in one client it is automatically available in another client and we have so many projects in which you will develop the test you will develop the object in one client you will do the testing in another client so at that time in case of smart form there is no problem you can develop and you can test in another client because the client hunter suppose think there is no data available how you will test you need to do the testing in 200 client itself so in that case smart form there is no problem at all and i am not talking about quality and production system you can think in such a way we have two development clients 100 and 200 in 100 there is no data in 200 there is a data so we need to do the testing in the 200 client now i will come on to script script if you remember this is the script which we developed if i will go to 100 client if i will go to sc71 transaction code this is the script which we developed and we developed in client 100 if i will show you this is available in client 100 now if i will go to client 200 and i will show you the script this is client 200 now if i will go to sc71 transaction code the script will not be available in this client now the question comes if script is not available in client 200 how you will do the testing because for testing data is required and data is in client 200 but our script is not available that's why we are saying scripts are client dependent if you develop in one client it will not automatically available in client 200 you need to do the client copy for the same now what i will do in this client 200 i will go for scc1 transaction code this transaction code is for client copy i will go to scc1 transaction code most most important transaction code SAP provided a newer version of SCC1 also, that is SCC1N. But no problem if you have the latest system or if you do not have the latest system, no problem. There is no need to go to new SCC1N also. You can go for previous SCC1 also. So if I will not go to SCC1N new transaction code, I will go for old SCC1. So I will go for no. So this is our old, this is our SCC1 transaction code. You can go for SCC1N also, no problem. Now, here, here I will simply, simply copy the script through the transport request. And you know very well, intentionally, during the starting of the topic, I saved the script into package and transport request. Intentionally, I saved so that I can make a client copy. If you see, this is the transport request. If I will go to SC09 transaction code in client 100, So this is the transport request for the script. So I will simply, simply copy this transport request. Now I will simply, simply put this transport request. Now, what is the source client? This transport request is in which particular client number 100? In 200 client, I am doing the copy or you can understand in receiver client, I am doing the copy. Now, 
I will select this checkbox also so that the all the tasks in the request are also included. If you see in our request as of now, this is the task. This is the subtask. Now, firstly, you can go for test run. In case of test run, what will happen? It will show you. Is there any error? If, if, if there is an error, it will show you the error itself. Suppose if I will go for test run and I will go for start immediately. Now it is saying program ran successfully. It means there is no problem with this particular script, which is in that transport request. There is no problem with that transport request. Now, if you do that test run, it does not mean that script is in client 200. Now, if I will go to script in client 200, this is our client 200. As of now, we did the test run. So script did not came to client, did not come to client 200. Once I will remove this checkbox and then I will do the start immediately. Then it will be available. I will remove the checkbox for test run. I will go for start immediately. Now it is saying, do you want to copy? Yes, I want to copy. So I will go for yes. Now program ran successfully. And now if you see our script is in client 200. So this is the way how you can go for the copy of the script. Now I can do the testing. It is totally my wish. Now this is most important part. People think they copied the script one time. And yes, if they can do the testing. See, after that, whatever the changes you are doing in SAP script, they will not reflect automatically in client 200. Suppose simple example. This is my script in client 100. If I will go for SC71, in this particular client 100, Suppose I'm changing the description here. Suppose I'm going for order details one. I'm going for save and I will activate. It does not mean that these changes reflect into 200 client. If I will go to 200 client, this is my 200 client. If I will show the script, still the order details is there. If you want to do that, if you want to reflect the changes into client 200, every time you need to do the client copy every time. Suppose if I will go to SCC1 again in client 200, same request. Now I will again go for start immediately. Done. Now the data will be copied. So if I will show you the SAP script, now you can see order details one in client 200 also. Extremely important concept and widely used in the projects because for maximum projects, we have this kind of concept. One client, you will develop the objects. Objects means smart form, program, script, etc. Program, smart forms, no problem because they will automatically reflect into another client. But script is client dependent. You need to do the copy client copy through SCC1 transaction code. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered how to copy a script from one client to another client. Firstly, I showed you smart form. We develop a smart form in client 100 it automatically reflect into client 200 because smart forms are client independent. But this is not the case with SAP script. SAP script, which I developed in client 100, it will not automatically reflect into client 200. You need to make a client copy through transaction code SCC1 I showed you SCC1, SAP gave a new transaction, newer version of SCC1, 
as SCC1 and also you can go for that also no problem at all. Now after that it does not mean that one time you copy the script and you can every time do the testing with the same to same script. No, if you are going for changes in the script, then you need to every time to reflect those changes in another client. You have to do SCC then again so that you can get the latest changes of the script and you can do the testing. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.